and welcome to Hadi Gastro. In today's video, we're going to be exploring one of the most commonly known STDs, and that is chlamydia. So let's get started. So what is chlamydia? Chlamydia is one of the most common sexually transmitted diseases today. It is caused by a bacteria called chlamydia trachomatis and may affect and infect both men and women. In women, the infection may be localized in the cervix, rectum, or the throat, and in men, the infection may be localized in the urethra, which means the inside of the penis, the rectum, and the throat as well. So from this definition, we get that chlamydia is actually one of the most common sexually transmitted diseases today, and it's actually the most common bacterial sexually transmitted disease. So sexually transmitted diseases are divided into two main parts, and that's viral STDs and bacterial STDs. So chlamydia is actually a bacterial sexually transmitted disease. So from this definition, we also get that it can affect both men and women. And in women, the infection may be localized in the cervix, the rectum, or the throat. And in men, it can be localized in the urethra, the rectum, as well as the throat. So now that we know what chlamydia is and what bacteria causes it, let's take a closer look at how it can be spread. So how is the chlamydial infection spread? So chlamydia may be spread during sexual acts with or without a condom or a dental dam, which includes vaginal, anal, or oral sex with a partner who currently has the chlamydial infection, even if they don't have any symptoms. It can also be spread during the sharing of sex toys that may carry the bacteria and aren't washed or covered with a new condom each time they are used. It can be spread when infected genitals come into direct contact with another set of genitals and this means that one may contract chlamydia from a partner even if there is no penetration, orgasm, or ejaculation. Chlamydia can also be spread when one comes into contact with the infected semen or vaginal fluid or gets this fluid into their eyes. And the last way in which chlamydia can be spread is in cases of pregnant mums who are chlamydia positive, they may pass the infection on to their unborn baby. So what are the signs and symptoms of chlamydia? In many patients, the chlamydial infection may remain asymptomatic, and the majority of patients don't actually realize that they have the disease. But a key point to note here, however, is that even if patients have no active symptoms of the disease, they can still pass the disease on to others. If one doesn't notice symptoms at first, they may not appear until several weeks after you have had sex with an infected partner. So some of the symptoms in women include an increase in vaginal discharge caused by the inflamed womb, which is the cervix, pain or burning during urination, pain during sex and or bleeding after sex, pain in the lower part of the abdomen, especially during intercourse, bleeding between periods and or having heavier periods, and pain, discharge or bleeding from the anus. Symptoms which may affect men include a white, cloudy or watery discharge from the penis, pain or burning during urination, pain and or swelling in the testicles, and pain, discharge or bleeding from the anus. And some symptoms which affect men and women include the inflammation or the redness of the eye, which is called conjunctivitis, and this can be caused by infected semen or vaginal fluid getting into the patient's eyes. So this can affect both men and women, the chlamydial conjunctivitis. So now let's talk about testing and diagnosis of chlamydia. So the first thing we can do is a urine test. And here, a sample of the patient's urine is sent for laboratory analysis, which may indicate the presence of the infection. So as we can see from this urine sample, we test for the specific bacteria called chlamydia trachomatis, and we can see whether the patient is positive or negative from the urine sample. We can also do a swabbing test. And here, in female patients, a swab is taken from the lower part of the womb, which is called the cervix, or from the vagina. And in male patients, a swab is taken from the tip of the penis, called the urethra. And if one has had anal or oral sex, the swabs are taken from the rectum or throat, respectively. So this is actually what the swab looks like. It sort of looks like a cotton bud, which is in a sterile test tube. And this is actually rubbed against the area of interest and can be sent for lab analysis to test and see if the chlamydial trachomatis bacteria is present or not. And finally, treatment. So thankfully, antibiotics will cure this infection. The patient is generally administered a one-time dose of antibiotics, usually azithromycin or doxycycline, which is taken twice daily for up to 7 to 14 days. 
And that brings us to the end of this video on chlamydia. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please make sure to like, comment, subscribe and share. Hope you found the presentation very interesting and informative. Please make sure you turn on your bell notification so you'll be notified every time we have a new upload. And if you'd like to download a copy of this presentation, you may do so by clicking the link in the description. Take care and bye for now.